For five years, one unnamed Korean woman from a local pet shelter made it her business to distribute food to all of the feral cats that lived in her neighborhood. She bonded with many of them, but one definitely stood out from the pack for an exceptional reason. The cat, whose name was Dongsuk, appeared regularly to get her meals just like the other feral cats. However, unlike her feline friends, she turned up her nose at a bowl of fresh dry food. She just didn't seem interested in the food if it was presented this way. Worried that Dongsuk wasn't getting the nutrients she needed to survive, the woman tried offering her feline friend different varieties of dry food. She even went too far as to offer the cat a can of wet food. It was no use, Dongsuk wouldn't bite. That's when the woman decided to try something different. Instead of offering Dongsuk opened food, she decided to try wrapping it up in a plastic baggie. Sure enough, it worked like a charm. The cat immediately grabbed the bag of food and mysteriously headed off somewhere. Soon, this became the new routine for both the plucky volunteer and for her friend, Dongsuk the cat. The volunteer made sure that she always had a special bag of food prepared for her, and the cat would eagerly take that bag and wander away with it. But why? While the volunteer was thrilled to have figured out a way to get the cat to eat a hearty meal, she was still incredibly puzzled by her behavior. Why on earth would the cat prefer food that was undeniably more difficult for her to eat? In addition to wondering why Dongsuk preferred that her meals were served in this unconventional way, there was also the question of where exactly the cat was taking the food to once she received it. Most of the other cats simply ate in front of the volunteers. To get to the bottom of this, the volunteer and her friends decided to follow Dongsuk, but they knew this would be very tricky. While the cat was very sweet, she was still feral, and chances are she wouldn't take well to being followed. The last thing they wanted to do was scare her away from her primary source of food. So, the volunteer and her friends decided to trail Dongsuk from a distance. As they did so, they became baffled when the cat led them to, to a special spot just above the entryway to an old building. What was she doing? The cat seemed a little worried. She was pacing back and forth with the bag of food in her mouth like she was waiting for someone. The volunteer and her friends couldn't understand. If Dongsuk wasn't eating the food, what was she doing with it? In a couple of seconds they had their answer. In response to Dongsuk's meows, a tiny ginger kitten came scampering up to meet her. Immediately it became clear that the reason Dongsuk would only take the wrapped food was because she was a mom. The mother cat sat and watched uncontentedly while her young kitten ripped into the bag and happily ate her share of the food that her mother had delivered. The volunteer and her friends were nearly in tears. From that point on, the kind woman and her fellow friendly volunteers knew that they had to do something. They did a little digging, continuing to follow Dongsuk and asking locals who might know her for information about her story. In the process, they learned something heartbreaking, Dongsuk originally delivered a litter of five kittens. Unfortunately, life on the streets wasn't easy. And because they had no one to protect them while she ventured for food, Dongsuk was left with just this one surviving kitten. The volunteers knew that if they wanted to help Dongsuk and give her the life that she and her kitten deserved, they were going to have to intervene. Starting small, they returned to the site where they spotted the two and left a warm quill to help make them comfortable. This was only the beginning of their plans. The team of volunteers returned to the spot each day to try and help Dongsuk and her kitten. They hoped their presence would make the pair feel more comfortable being around people. Dongsuk seemed to understand that pretty quickly, but her kitten needed some convincing. Thankfully, even the kitten warmed up to the team before too long, and it's a good thing that she did. Otherwise, when the volunteers arrived and greeted the kitten and her mother with equipment like this they might have run away. Luckily, once they earned the animal's trust, 
The team was able to pack them together into a carrying box with exceptional ease. They didn't like the net, but they didn't fight it too much either. Now, they're on the path to finding the new forever home they both deserve. Their story wasn't over just yet, though. While they waited to be adopted, this mother and daughter were able to live in a house of their own instead of skulking around the shadows and hoping for scraps. Now, their food comes in big, overflowing bowls, not in little plastic bags. How nice is that? The story of Dongsuk and the people who cared enough to look out for her in this way is a real inspiration. Not only is it a story of motherly love, but it's a tale of the power of truly doing good.